In the following video, we are going to work through the process on how to clone an existing web server certificate template from your certificate authority and make it available as your connection server template. So first we hit start and we type MMC and we open up the MMC console. Just going to enlarge this to make it easier. And you can see I'm on my domain controller machine at the moment. And the domain controller is where I have my certificate authority role installed. So this is an internal CA and you may have a different setup, but hopefully seeing this process will help you understand what's required when you go through this yourself. We hit file and add remove snapping. And we're going to firstly add in the certificate template, select add and select OK. I expand the certificate template option and I'm able to see all of the existing certificate templates that are available in my CA. And I'm going to select the web server certificate template and I'm going to right click and hit duplicate template. Now the reason that I'm duplicating the web server template is because the connection server effectively is a web server. It's accessed over the web and this is the, the most appropriate template to use. Now, the first thing that appears when I'm duplicating, duplicating the certificate template is the compatibility. Now, 2003, the Windows Server 2003 requirement was one that used to be there up to, uh, up to quite recently, actually. It was there because we supported Windows XP and there were certain API calls that uh, XP needed and used that meant that if we used any other version of certificate authority other than Windows Server 2003, that XP wouldn't be able to handle it and the, cert the certificates wouldn't be valid. Thankfully, this has now changed and we're not bound by the same restriction or requirement anymore. The only thing that we need to be aware of is that currently, if I select, for example, 2008 R2, I select OK to the, to the changes. I then need to make sure that the recipient is also set to 2008 or 2. If there's an incompat incompatibility between the authority and the recipient, then I'm going to have problems. In this case, there won't be. I, know, I then move to general and I'm going to obviously give it a name that's valid for, for me. So I'm going to call it connection server certificate and template. The validity, the validity period and everything, I'm gonna leave the same and I don't need to publish this to Active Directory. For the request handling, there's one very, very important setting that needs to be enabled here and that is allow private key to be exported. If the private key isn't set to be exported, your certificate will not work. The private key is required for when we're opening up connections, it's used in the Java wrappers, if it's not available to be exported, it's just not going to work for you. So this is a requirement that has to be enabled. If we look at cryptography, we don't need to change anything here. We're at the minimum key size, which is fine. And we can then move on to the next option and we don't need to do anything here either. If we look at security, there is one change that we need to make here and that is to give users the option to enroll this certificate. If we don't select this, we can make the template, we can clone the template, we can publish it, but it actually won't display if somebody tries to request a new certificate at all. So we need to check the enroll checkbox. There's nothing that we need to change on extensions and for the superseded templates, there's nothing that we need to worry about here. On the compatibility, we've looked at already, and we're going to now look at the subject name. We're not going to change anything in the subject name here. This is going to be something that we're going to that we would do when we were actually adding in the template. So you don't need to do anything at that point here. If we click on server, we're not going to store the certificates and requests in the cert authority database, and we're not going to include the revocation information in the issued certs. And for the insurance requirements, again, we don't need to worry about anything here. So I'm going to select OK. And you can now see that I have a connection server certificate template created. Now, this is just a template creation. This is only the first part of the step. I now need to make this template available for users to use. And to do that, I need to come back up to file and select add remove snapping. This time I'm going to select certificate certification authority 
and I'm going to select add and I'm going to leave it as the local computer and select finish. Select OK. And if I now expand the certification authority, you can see that this is my domain vclass dcca vclass is my uh, domain and I'm going to select this and right click all tasks. Sorry, not here. I'm going to come down to certificate templates. Apologies. Right click and select new certificate template to issue. And you can see now that I have the connection server certificate template available. I select it and then I select OK. And I now have this uh, the connection server certificate template available for use. I can close this MMC. I don't need to save the settings. Uh, the changes are already made inside the, the template itself. The save option was to save the, the MMC consoles that I'd opened and I don't need to do that. I'm now going to open up a connection to my connection server. So again, I have an RDP window available and I'm going to connect into my connection server. And from here, this is where I would then proceed to changing the certificate. So if I come in here and I type MMC and I then go to file, add, remove, snap in and select on certificates select add and use the computer account select next and finish okay and expand the window i then am able to expand everything out i expand personal expand and click on certificates and i can then right click hit all tasks and request new certificate this video was solely based around the creation of the certificate the connection server certificate template in another video, we will look at actually changing the certificate for the connection server. This completes the demo. Thank you.